It is about that time again for another huge perfume haul. So if you're interested to know what I picked up lately, just stay tuned. So this first fragrance that I picked up, I actually showed you guys a sneak peek when I did my live where I was kind of showing you my celebrity perfume collection. And oh, by the way, honey, that is still recording. I just have not finished editing it. Okay, you guys, it's definitely coming. I do apologize for that for those that are waiting for my updated celebrity perfume collection. It's coming, honey, as well as the designer one. You guys, I've just been really, really busy trying to balance out some really, really important things in my life. But honey, I'm definitely going to let you guys have that one so it's coming just give me a little bit more time it's coming okay but this first fragrance i did actually show you guys dulce from dulce and gabbana and you guys i literally smelled this a long time ago but i was not impressed so i seen this perfume i literally got this at tj maxx and it was 39.99 so when i saw this i said what the heck i'm going to go ahead and pick her up and actually wear her so i can get a better feel because when i first tried this i was not that impressed you guys dulce and gabbana perfume sometimes they are really like and when you first smell them you're not really hooked on them but what they blossom or develop into is what really really kind of sets them apart for me so I do own Dolce & Gabbana light blue which you guys I am not a fan of that and I've had that for quite a while and I just keep trying that but it just turns sour on me and it just it smells like lemon pie and salt okay but we're not gonna be talking about Dolce & Gabbana light blue we're gonna be talking about the Dolce by Dolce & Gabbana so I I did pick her up in a 2.5 fluid ounce so this is the full size bottle this does also come in at five ounce but lord i couldn't imagine having five ounces of this perfume two and a half is enough okay but this is really it's aquatic smelling it is floral you guys and i am going to definitely spray her to give you my first impression i can't say it's too much of a first impression because i've already smelled this see like what i'm picking up now is definitely like really really heady florals but it's still kind of soft but it kind of smells aquatic you guys so i do like this and i will say that this does dry down it does change in the dry down and i think that is what i do like about this initially okay i have to really really wear this i just sprayed it before i went to bed just to give it just one little spray and a little test to see how many i'll have to spray so i am as of yet to wear this i have not wore this yet but I just wanted to show you, I did pick up this Dolce from Dolce & Gabbana from TJ Maxx and she was $39.99. Cheaper than the discounted websites because the discounted websites that does host this perfume, that does have this perfume, it's higher than $39.99. So I did check that too when I was going to purchase it. I always pay attention to the prices and I always literally, I would pull out my phone, you guys. I would literally, and let me show you, honey, I stays on the discounted websites. But you guys, I have the app on my phone right here for fragrancenet.com honey yes okay so i will usually go in and check the prices right while i'm in the store to see if it's a good deal honey and even if it is more expensive at tj maxx i'll still buy it just to actually wear it to see if i like it and if it's higher than the discounted websites i will literally take this back and i will go and i will order this online but in this case this was cheaper from tj maxx so i can't wait to wear this you guys i have not worn this yet besides me testing it at night before i go to bed just to see how many sprays I would need but I will say right now this honey this is not a fall and winter perfume so I definitely will not be actually wearing this wearing this but I am going to wear it once like around the house to see if I like it to see if I want to keep it nine times out of ten I probably will keep it I'm just saying this again is a Dulce from Dulce and Gabbana and this next fragrance that I picked up this was also a blind purchase but it was so cheap you guys this is VIP private show from Britney Spears you guys, but I'm going to tell you right now, this was a little cheapy. I think I only paid like $12.99 for this bottle. And it is literally the little one ounce bottle. It does look very similar to the original Private Show, which I absolutely love the original Private Show. But you do get this pink juice in this one. But you guys, honey, I don't like this one. This smells cheap compared to the original Private Show. I love the original. I don't know what this is in this, but as soon as I got this, I was with my husband and as soon as we got in the truck, honey, I had to rip this open, okay? And I sprayed one spray and he literally 
literally said, what did you spray? Because I had bought a couple perfumes. And I was like, I sprayed this. And he was like, that shit smelled cheap. Yeah, so, and I totally agree with him on this. So I'm definitely going to take her back. I am not even going to keep this. I don't like this. Sorry, Britney Spears. But this was a huge no. So, yep, this is VIP private show from Britney Spears. So off she goes. And this next one is also a celebrity scent, you guys. And this was a blind purchase. And I said, what the hey? And I did pick up. This is Mariah Carey Dreams. And you guys, look at the price on here. It was $9.99. So I have heard good things about this. So I just went on ahead and I purchased this for $10. You can't beat it, okay? And Inquiring Minds wanted to know. So, honey, I could not pass this up. I had to go and grab this. And this is the cute little bottle right here. It's very cute. Only thing I don't like, y'all know how I feel about plastic. Honey, this top is all plastic. This is like super duper plastic. But hey, it was only $10. You can't complain. So first impression, caramel, okay? That's the first thing that I get out of this. So you guys, let me spray it. Because I actually did not spray this. So let me grab me a car so I can spray this, okay? And this is really, really pretty. I don't know why, but I just got a blast of pineapple, okay? So caramel and pineapple is literally what I'm picking up from this. This is cute. This is a really, really nice, easygoing type of scent. You guys know I have to actually wear her, okay? I have not worn her yet, so I just opened it up just to get a feel and actually to see the bottle because this was a blind purchase. I didn't know, so I literally just opened it two days ago, you guys. So I just kind of bought it, kind of set it off to the side. But I can't say first impression, not bad, okay? But we're going to definitely see how she does, and I will definitely be letting you guys know about this Mariah Carey. This is so cute how it has her signature Mariah down here. That is really pretty, but I don't really like this plastic top, but hey, it is what it is. But the glass, the bottle is definitely glass, so I do like that. But I am definitely going to give her a couple of sprays and let you guys know my overall thoughts and feelings on this fragrance. So again, this is Mariah Carey's Dream. Is it Dream or Dreams? Dreams. This is Mariah Carey's Dreams. And these next fragrances, you guys, are actually gift sets. So I'm going to show you how they came in a gift set. But this next one I got, honey, I did get a sample at Dillard's for this. And I fell in absolutely love with this fragrance. And I did get this set. And it is Treasures La Nuit. You guys, I absolutely love this. I cheated. I did wear this. And I was blown away. And I did get this in the 1.7 ounce. I did get the gift set. It came with the shower gel and also the lotion. But I did get this in the 1.7 ounce. And OMG, this is gorgeous. Gourmand and rich. Little smoky, okay? But... Honey, I just could not help myself, and I wore this as soon as I got this, okay? I wore it to bed. I didn't actually wear it out for the full day, but I wore it to bed just so I can know how many sprays of this to spray. This is a powerhouse fragrance, so you want to be kind of careful on this one. So I tread it very, very lightly on this. So I sprayed one spray, and I could not believe how strong this stuff was. I absolutely love this. And to me, the sample did not do the justice. It did enough for me to actually want to buy it, so it was a no brainer for me to get this set and the reason I did not buy the full size bottle of this is because this is so strong you guys and potent it would literally take me a good five six seven years to even get through this 1.7 ounce so that is why I only got the 1.7 ounce I didn't get the full size but this is big enough and as you can see look how big this bottle is and this is just the 1.7 ounce and this is the Eau de Parfum set. Absolutely love this, you guys. Love, love, love. I would definitely be doing a review on this beauty right here, honey. Yes, be looking out for that. But again, this is the Treasure La Nuit. And this next set I picked up, you guys, I did find this at Burlington. And it was a $59.99. And I did pick up the Marc Jacobs Daisy. Now, you guys, this is an old scent. This has been out for quite a while. But I just had to go ahead and get her because I've never owned Daisy. And I've always wanted to get Daisy also oh fresh. But, you guys, the price of this of the Daisy also oh fresh, I could never find a good deal on it. So when I seen this at Burlington, I had to hurry up and pick it up. Let me take her on out the box. So this is the bottle right here. And I could say, well... 
you guys the bottle is glass but I can say this is plastic but this is more like a like that real flexible plastic it's, it's really cute I will say that but I did get this in the this is the full 3.4 ounce bottle I'm kind of on a fence with this you guys I have not worn this yet but I have worn it to bed just so I can test it to see how what this is going to do but this is an auto toilet which is very surprising because this is potent for an auto toilet it does have a little bit of a classic scent but I am definitely going to wear this and give you guys my thoughts on how I like it and if I'm going to keep it because this set was $60 honey so if I do not enjoy this perfume I would definitely be taking it back but uh, you know I'm here for it so I just had to go ahead and buy it and give my thoughts on this classic scent from Marc Jacobs this is the um, sprayer it's like the rollerball I don't know if this is the 0.25 this is the 10 mil sprayer of Daisy and it also comes with the body lotion so I would definitely have to wear this and let you guys know but I will say right now this is not a fall or winter scent for me because I don't believe this will last but even though this is an auto toilet and it's strong for an auto toilet I don't know if this will survive in the cold weather here but I'm definitely going to be wearing this probably on the weekend or something just so I can see if I like the scent enough to keep it but overall first impression really floral clean it is fresh I do like it for just smelling it out of the top and also giving that first spray I did like it so we'll just have to see about this one but again this is a daisy from Marc Jacobs Okay, and this next set that I picked up, you guys, I actually been sampling this. I actually went through a couple samples to be for certain, but honey, I was not liking the prices on the discounted websites. So when I seen her at TJ Maxx, I literally almost fell out in the store. I was like, oh my God, I needed that. And I did get the Dolce & Gabbana, the one. You guys, this was like at first, when I first smelled this, I was unsure if I liked it, but you literally have to spray this on your skin and let it dry and see how you really like it because honey this turned beautiful on my skin I did get the full size set that comes with the full size 3.4 ounce no this is a 2 point this is a 75 mil 2.5 foot ounce and you get the body lotion and you also get a roller ball which I am really not a fan of the roller balls you guys but these are nice to carry for travel and stuff like that but honey this bottle right here I have worn this. I just sprayed it. Y'all can see. Y'all can see. I've been, I've been spraying her. So I have worn her a couple of times. Okay. So I do know for sure I'm keeping this. I absolutely adore this. Okay. So this is mature though. I will say that it is a mature scent. But it's really, really pretty. I do like this. It is more on the elegant side. But this is a really nice scent from Dolce & Gabbana. And like I was saying before about Dolce & Gabbana fragrances, you guys, you have to really spray them and kind of like let them let, let it take its course. You know, some fragrances, literally when you spray them, they kind of stay like that. Or, you know, they don't really change too much. But the Dolce & Gabbana fragrances, you guys, they literally change on me. But this one changed for the better. So that is why when I seen this set, I did pick it up. And also this set was really really pricey I did get it at TJ Maxx and it was $69.99 honey this was $70 for this set but I don't mind the price if I really really love the perfume of course I did look this up on fragrancenet.com also perfume.com and you guys for the 2.5 ounce it was literally about the same price as just buying the bottle so I said why not just get the set honey and it's only it's the same price so I did go with the set and sometimes you just want it now so I just I wanted her now so I went ahead and I picked her up really I really did enjoy this when I wore this and again this is Dolce & Gabbana the one I'm sorry I did say the rest of the perfumes were sets but you guys this is not a set that I picked up but I actually picked this up based upon one of my testers as well and I have been testing out this flower bomb nectar and as you can see with this tester I am about right here this is the top of the tester so I'm right here I used about half of this tester just to make sure that I really really like and enjoy the scent but you guys I really adore this so it was a no-brainer for me to try to find this flower bomb nectar so I did actually go in and actually pick up the bottle and I did get this in the this is the 50 mil 1.7 ounce I did go ahead and pick this up and this was expensive okay but I love this scent this is flower bomb to me amplified it doesn't turn woody on me either so I really really like this so I had to go ahead and pick her up and this again this is the eau de parfum and again this is a flower bomb nectar can't wait to include incorporate and wear her this winter 
But again, this is Flower Bomb Nectar. I really, really like this one. So definitely stay tuned for more information on this Flower Bomb Nectar. And last but not least, this set, you guys, I have been looking high and low for this and I finally found it. I walked right in and I did pick this one up at, at TJ Maxx. I was ecstatic. I was elated when I seen this at TJ Maxx. And it is the Marc Jacobs Decadence. It is the Oh So Decadent. And you guys know when I bought the last one I did feature, it was the Divine Decadence. And I thought it was this one. This is the one that I really, really wanted. But I did get this set at TJ Maxx. And here is the set, you guys. You can see I've already put this one out, honey, because I've been spraying this, okay? So I will just show you guys this one. But I did, this set did come with a 100 ml bottle and also a 30 ml bottle and I know this is way too much perfume for me I'm not gonna go through all of this so I don't know if I'm gonna keep this smaller one or the larger one and I know I'm going to probably sell one or the other but honey this right here this is what I was talking about okay now this is very similar to Divine and also the original Decadence, but this is fresher, okay? This is the one that I really, really wanted, and you guys, I actually did wear this. I wore this to bed, and this packaging is so cute. Look at that. But I did. I wore this to bed, and I fell in love with this. I absolutely adore this. This is really nice. This strays away from the original, because you know, I don't like the original. And the Divine version, I didn't like that either. Okay, I tried to give it a chance, but no. This is the one that I really wanted. I am so, so glad that I found this set. I did pick this set up for $59.99 at TJ Maxx. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. And definitely give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And be sure to share my videos on other platforms. And also with your friends and family, honey. So they will be in the new of all these fragrances that we're discovering here on this channel. Thank you so much. And I love you all. Thanks for tuning into this video. Be sure to follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Also, be sure to check out my latest videos. I post new videos weekly, and I would love to have you follow along. And as always, thank you so much for watching, and I can't wait to see you in my next video.